Ooh, look at that! Look at that! I'm in the preview. Hey, Hannah. Earth Nation has a new challenge video up. Let's watch it. Okay. Hello, you great fighters. I have today? been looking this forward to this challenge. I cannot wait to start. Video. This will be a three-star challenge. Number one, you are not allowed to trim the bottom of your plate. The bottom of your plate Wait, cannot be trimmed. Not trim the bottom of my plate. What am I supposed to do then? Two, How do I finish it? What if it looks ugly? Uh, okay, okay, Hannah, get your head back in the game. Listen to the next instructions. Wait, I can't make it round, so I can't have a foot, and I can't make it round. What am I gonna do for this plate? I'm trying to th learn to throw. But it okay, be okay, just we'll figure it out. Round. Just listen. If you do not meet all these parameters within one plate, I will simply ignore your entry. I will also put all the parameters that I have just stated down below in the doobly doo and on my Wait. Discord just in case you need to look over them. Again. Am I watching Weezy Waiter? You don't want to watch the whole video. Hannah! Yeah? Dante put a plate video up. Let's watch it. <laughs> okay. And try really hard not to wobble your fist anywhere. If you do, you're gonna end up making extra bumps inside your clay like how I did right there. Like Don't how be I do afraid to time. lean down. Okay. So, okay. what am I gonna do now? <laughs> We've gotta do this challenge plate, and it can't be round, but I'm gonna throw it, because I'm trying to learn to throw better. And I can't trim a foot. I love a trimmed foot. What am I gonna do? Okay, get out of your head. You're just, you're just gonna get a ball of clay, and throw it on the wheel, and and you're just gonna throw a plate. Let's just make a plate, and then and then we'll figure out the whole no foot, no round thing. I did it! I can't believe it! It's so much easier this way! Oh, and look at it, it's so pretty! And now I have to make it not round. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna do that on this plate. Well, not yet, 
I can't bear to morph it right now, so I'm just gonna cut this one off and throw another one. I'm gonna do three plates anyway, and I'll just do something to this one to make it not round later. Okay, with this second plate, I'm really gonna have to do something. Gotta really modify it. But first, I just need to throw it. Second plate done. Now what do I do with it? Hmm... I have an idea. I'll use a spout pulling technique to pull it into a square. That should be interesting. looks pretty cool. I'm happy with that. Now for my third one. What should I do? Alright. The husband says try to make a square with pointier corners. So here we go.
Uh oh. It's falling. Oh, the sides fell. Stay up. What am I gonna do? Ah. Okay, maybe if I pinch the corners together. Oh my goodness, this is so stupid. Ugh. This is not going to plan. Okay, just cut it off before you make it worse. Ugh. It went back flat. Okay, just gonna take it off the wheel and hit it with the heat gun upside down and hope for the best. Well, plate three isn't going so well. I don't think I'm gonna like it, but I need to go back and work on plate one and figure out how to make it not round. I have an idea from another artist who works in my studio. Uh, she does this really cool thing on her bowls. I haven't seen her do it on a plate, so I'm gonna do it on my plate. Okay, are you ready to see some finished plates? In third place we have this one. Alright, so I totally knew that this was not going to be my favorite plate, but the glaze really did well on it and it did what I wanted. It does remind me of like a big leaf, like a jungle leaf, like maybe an elephant ear. Um, this side is a jade glaze, and because it runs, I couldn't put it on the back, so I put like a green celadon back here. I like how it wrapped around, but not my favorite plate, 
So not the winner, not the entry into the plate challenge. Number two. When I got this one back, I didn't like my glaze, but now looking at it again, I kind of like it. This is the one that I pulled to make it square. It's the second one I made. Just did a white glaze with some blue splattering on it. Um, it came out about like I expected. I just, I don't like it as much as I expected. It's still nice, it's just not my favorite. The, uh, oh, and I have a drip issue. So I'll need to take care of that before it's usable. Um, I really liked the shape before I glazed fire it, but I don't think that this glaze, uh, I don't think that the splatter really works with the square shape. I just don't think that I thought it through and made it go together. And the winner is, ta-da! Oh, I just love this Carolina blue. It comes out so pretty. It just really shows those high areas of the clay and it fills in text grooves. It doesn't run a lot, but it does show the texture and the shape of the plate well. And I really like, I don't know why some glazes do this, but they like look speckled. So it's got like tiny little light dots inside of a do, uh, dark blue. The back looks great as well. Looks really cool on the texture. Just turned out perfect. Did exactly what I wanted. I am concerned that this may not be unround enough, but I didn't trim my foot and it's not round, so good enough. 